everyone welcome back to my channel today I have a haul for you this haul is some pre-orders that I did from a local scrapbooking store that I shop at and um, they also host retreats every month so I picked this up during the last retreat and so the first few items I got were these stamp sets and these are from Woodware Craft Collection and um, Creative Expressions is the company and so I got this set I've already actually used this set on a card we had a every month she does a theme and the month for this uh, February was Super Bowl and so we had challenges that uh, we could complete and we'd get points for our team and then uh, we would win a prize at the end and so we had to do stamping I believe on one of the cards so I use this stamp set here um, on the weekend and it's really nice so I stamped them out and fussy cut them out and so I got this stamp set and this one is called paper feathers and this one here is called vintage fungi and I just love the mushrooms and I think both of these stamps would be really nice stamped on vellum with some embossing powder. Unfortunately, I didn't have vellum or embossing powder at the crop, um, so I just punt, uh, stamped that out on craft paper with black ink, but uh, it looked nice as well. But I'll show all those cards and the different challenges I did on another video. But yeah, I got that stamp set as well, and it's a fair size. This is my hand in comparison. So I got those, and then I did a pre-order for the collection by Simple Stories called True Colors. And so, so I'll show you um, this collection. Sorry, I should have done this ahead of time. <clears throat> so I, I got a lot of this collection. I don't know what it was about this collection, but I just fell in love with it when she showed it online. So I got the six by eight paper pad and I think, yeah, they're double-sided. So I'll just quickly go through that. And I'll show the other side. These are little, um, what do you call these? Uh, film slide frames. I love the Viewmaster. Not sure why I got the 6x8. I guess I thought in case I did an album or cards or maybe. Um, yeah. Just really nice colors. I just really like the color palette of this paper collection some cut aparts. I like that they were a bit retro looking as well. I'm, gl I'm glad I got this. This has got some really nice and then it, I believe it repeats itself. Yeah. So this is the back side of them. Lots of pinks. I love the cameras. really pretty. These are jacks, which is really fun. I love this kind of ombre effect. This is really fun for um, summer type pictures as well. So that's the 6x8. Uh, then I got a bunch of the ephemera. <coughs> I don't think there was much I didn't get for this collection. I got the uh, floral bits. Uh, I wish they would come out with a collection of florals for every um, collection that they come out with because I, I think these are really pretty. So it comes with all these floral bits. And then I got the bits and pieces. So it comes with a bunch of different icons. There's a car, a TV, a um, a Game Boy, a camera, several different cameras, an old fashioned phone, some floral pieces, some words, 
roller skates, a set of crayons, really fun. And then I got the decorative brads. They're um, not a true brad, they're, they're flat on the back, which is nice. And it's got a few chipboard pieces as well. And then all these fun brads. This one's got a camera on it, a map. There's no, sorry, not a map. That's a bike. I don't know if I glasses this one, so. <laughs> uh, yay. And then um, the viewfinder of, for the camera or the, the lens. And this cute little bird. Really pretty. Love those. And these are the layered chipboard pieces. So it's um, a thinner chipboard, which is nice. So you could use these on a card and layouts for sure. And um, those are what it comes with. And then I got the big bits. So uh, several different cameras, a uh, Viewmaster reel, a uh, phone, a film strip, a little clipboard, really fun. These would be a good basis for uh, ephemera clusters. Then I got the foam stickers. So there's, you know, titles and little words. And I love the colors and I love that they're all different fonts. Really fun. Then I got the journal bits. Uh, there's a bingo card and some little labels, a library card. Really fun. Love that. I got the chipboard frames. I really struggle using chipboard frames, but I thought, well, I got everything else. I might as well get these two. I really liked it for the Viewmaster reel, and the smile one is really fun as well. So I got those. I need to just go on Pinterest and maybe look up layouts that have frames on them because, yeah, I struggle to use those for some reason. And then I got the uh, chipboard stickers so it's got a few words and then a title and then some different icons that are throughout the collection so really fun and this chipboard isn't really thick which is nice and then I got the uh, 12 by 12 paper pack and so uh, it looks like there's some different ones that are then are in the um, six by eight, like a lot more cut aparts here. I'll just quickly take this out and do a quick fan of the different papers. It comes with a 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well. So I think this was in the six by eight. That one wasn't. That's really pretty. I love this one. It's really bright. This one was. And that one was as well. I love these uh, kind of like little flashcards. This would be great for some, you know, uh, if you're an older person like myself, kind of this retro look would be great for a, an album about yourself where you've got the VHS tapes, roller skates, the little boom box. Yeah, this is really fun. I'm really glad I um, said yes, please, to this uh, collection. This would be fun too, I think, if you were doing an album, say, of your layout of your scrap room. Because there's some, you know, decor type pieces like the brushes and that. This one wasn't in the 6x8 either. This one was. Love those cameras again. Fun um, slides. And then all these awesome tags. These are really pretty. These would be fun to do a tag flip with. They do such great cut aparts, I think. Simple stories. I love this one here for some reason. A little bingo card. 
Oh, I love this one. Oh, I could get like five pages of this one. Wow, that one's beautiful. I don't know why, but I really like that one. Oh, this is another fun cut apart. I love the paint sample here. Let's see that. Bubble gum, that's a fun one. This one's got different sized cut aparts on it. Looks like uh, four by fours and two by twos. That one's fun as well. And then this one is the four by sixes. Oh, and then this fun jack paper on the back. And then um, this is the sticker sheet. So we've got border, scallop border, and then a bunch of words, a bunch of icons, as well as a few Kind of title type ones. Really nice. I'm really, really glad I pulled the trigger on that collection. So again, that is two colors by uh, Simple Story. I'll put that away after. Then I pulled the trigger on the Doodlebug uh, collection. This one is called Snow Much Fun. And uh, I don't know, I don't do a lot of winter type activities, <laughs> but I just really fell in love with this collection. I just, I don't know if it was the color palette or the little critters, but yeah, super cute. So it's, um, it's got some kind of like a periwinkle blue, uh, kind of a lavender purple color, this really nice green shade. And yeah, it's just a really fun. And then it comes with a sticker sheet. A bunch of little border stickers. And I got a lot for this one as well. I've got a bunch of the little puffy stickers. I got these sprinkles. It's so basically their enamel dots. And then I got the um shape sprinkles these are really fun these uh, are little snowmen and little kind of like dewdrops and snowflakes super cute and then i got these ones which are which are polar bears a little fox and a seal and a little i don't know what would that be penguin i guess i was gonna say panda but it's not a panda and then I got the dies. The dies were pricey. They were 44. I mean, that's what they are. I mean, I don't think the store, you know, upcharged me. That's just the price of dies. But I love these dies. Like when I got them, I was like, oh, I was glad I got these. These will be fun to layer up. Just different snowflakes in different sizes and shapes. So I thought those were super fun. And that's what they look like. It'd be fun done in some foil or glitter paper. Then I got the little... Um, hearts and they have different patterns on them. They're really subtle patterns on them. And I like that they're kind of more of a primitive shape heart. And then I got the odds and ends and it comes with 136 pieces. So there's houses and then snowmen and penguins and little kids and foxes and snowflakes and yeah, lots of bigger pieces and smaller pieces as well. And then I got the chit chat. So this is more titles and words and banners. A few icons, but mostly phrase type things. Then I got the uh, mini icons. So you get, um, this one I'll open up, you get two different sheets of little stickers. And I usually um, pop up stickers. I take the sticky part off of the sticker and then like use some baby powder or cornstarch on the back and then puff them up and use them like a, an embellishment. So um, there's this one and then this is cute. The little gondola with the little bears sticking their heads out. And then this one's got little penguins. Super cute. So that's the mini icons. 
then these uh, I could have like five sheets of these these are so adorable these are the puffy icons and so you get um, houses and little kind of starbursts little critters some cups the little penguins these tiny hearts are so tiny and so cute and then the little birds the snowmen some snowflakes and more houses and trees how cute are these and you get a ton of them, like, I don't know if it says how many pieces, but 177 pieces. Super adorable. And then I got the um, larger icon sticker sheet, the 6x12 one. And again, lots of cute little critters and houses and snowflakes. And this one's cute with the little blizzard. What do you call that? Abominable snowman, I guess. And then the snowman peeking out from behind. Super cute. And then I got the uh, 6x8 or 6x6 paper pad. And I'll open that and we'll quickly flip through that. So these are double sided. I imagine it's the same patterns as in the. 12 by 12 just um, on a smaller scale so uh, you can see both sides there little banner strips snowflakes love the little cut aparts here they're super tiny really cute for embellishments more cut aparts. Some words as well. It's really great for cards. I love this one. Oh, this one's really pretty. It's kind of an ombre within each strip. So we've got lighter and darker of each color. That's super pretty. I hope there's a 12 by 12 of that. This one stripe. More kind of like journaling pieces here. This one's really nice as well. Really fun. This one's got a bunch of little tiny tags on it. And then it repeats itself. So yeah, that is my haul for today. And I uh, hope I've inspired you to maybe check out these collections. I think they're both really nice collections. So take care, everyone. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I hope you have an awesome day. Bye for now.